Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be looking at this brand new 2022 Ford Ranger. Now this particular Ranger is a Lariat model finished in Oxford white. Now this is a sold unit, but I do just want to give you a quick rock round of this Ranger considering this is the last year for this generation of Ranger. Now Ford is doing a redesign and I uh, just want to give you a quick walk around starting with the front here. We have these full LED headlights with the Lariat model with the sort of LED daytime running light there. Now this truck does have the uh, sport appearance package, which does include some sort of gray accents all along, including the grill. So we have the sort of carbonized gray painted grill with the Ranger logo right up there. We also have the front bumper and also this sort of silver uh, sort of trim piece here with the exposed front tow hooks. We do have the 501A package. So this is the highest spec Ranger available. We do get front parking sensors along the bottom there as well. Come around to the side, we do have these 17 inch, again with the gray painted wheel to match the front bumper and also the uh, wheel arches there as well. It's on a 255, 65 Bridgestone Dueler tire. Again, this wheel is part of that sport package. Now you can also get an FX4 package, which is an off-road package, uh, which would include a more sort of all-terrain focused tire, uh, but we do not have that on this particular Ranger. Again, with these sort of gray accents along the Ranger Lariat badge there on the side. Body colored mirrors and door handles with the Lariat model. We also have the turn signal and also the blind spot system up there in the corner. Now all Lariat Rangers are uh, super crew only. So it's the full four door with the five foot bed. You can also get a, a smaller cab with a longer box, but that is for the XL and the XLT model. You do have the sliding rear window back there. And there's your sport four x four badge back there as well. You do have full LED taillights which is actually standard on XLT and above. So we do have them on the Lariat with the blind spot radar system actually integrated in the back there as well. And coming into the back end, we have a nice Ranger logo right in the middle of the tailgate there. We also have again, the carbonized gray painted bumper with the parking sensors. We still have the rear camera down there. If we open up the tailgate, this particular Ranger does have a drop in liner. You can also get a spray in as well. We do get multiple tie down points here in behind and also the uh, connectors there in the bed. And stepping inside of this Ranger, we do have an intelligent access door handle. And optional, we do have the black accented running board, which is certainly a nice feature. And standard on the Lariat model, we do get full leather seating, the black leather with the white accent stitching. They are power operated as well as heated. And here on the door panel, we do get more of the nice soft touch leather material here on the armrest. Also have your power windows and your power locks up there. And to the left of the steering wheel, we do have your power mirrors with the power fold. We also have your automatic headlight controls, your fog lights and your bed lighting right there on the side. And climbing inside, we do have Ford's intelligent access key fob with remote start on there as well. And push button start. Powering the Ranger is a 2.3 liter EcoBoost four cylinder engine, which makes 310 horsepower. This Ranger has plenty and plenty of power. It's made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Uh, transmission. This is actually the only uh, powertrain offered for the Ranger is the EcoBoost engine with the 10 speed automatic. Now we'll show you the window sticker over here. So we do have the, again, Ranger Oxford white with that 501A package. We also have the running boards and also the sport appearance package. Brings the price to just about 52,400. And that is a Canadian dollars too, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but starting here on this nice leather wrapped steering wheel, we do have controls here for your left gauge cluster screen there, and also the adaptive cruise control system. We have controls here for your right gauge cluster screen, and also some of your phone and track buttons there as well. And we can scroll through various things in this gauge cluster. We go into the display mode, we have your average speed, we have your distance to empty, we have your different views for your tachometer and your temperature. We also have a digital speedometer and your tire pressures. We also have your trips one and two. We have your fuel economy status, which includes fuel history. We also have your driver assistance features. We have your blind spot system, cross traffic alert, trailer sway control, adaptive cruise control. We have your driver alert, lane keep system, pre-collision assist. Lots and lots of good safety features in there. We also have other various vehicle settings in here as well. And we also have these controls which will control your right gauge cluster screen, 
You have your entertainment, your navigation, and your phone, and you can control that all from that screen there. Uh, but moving here in the middle, we do have Ford's Sync 3 8 inch touchscreen display. We go to the home screen here. You do have your navigation as well as your radio and your phone. We can go into the audio section here. We do have our sources, Sirius XM or Bluetooth. We do have a digital version of the climate control up here. You can go in here and adjust your climate control. Super easy. You also have your menus up here. You can hook up your uh, Bluetooth phone to the phone screen here. And again, we do have built-in navigation. You can set home and work addresses. And various apps like Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And other various settings in here as well. We do have Ford Pass Connect, which does allow you to remote start. So it's lock and unlock and you know, a bunch of other features all from, the, all from your phone. We also have ambient lighting, so we can go in here. We can control the ambient lighting. We can pick different colors and we can uh, adjust the brightness as well, which is certainly pretty cool. Again, moving down here, push button start, which is standard on the Lariat model. We also have our dual zone climate control. So there are physical buttons down here for the climate control if you prefer that. We also have heated seats for both driver and passenger as well, which is certainly nice. We have two 12 volt connectors here. We have some USB. We also have our tow haul mode, parking sensors, and the trashing control button right there. And this is our four wheel drive selector. So here in Canada, all Rangers are actually four wheel drive. Uh, so you can't actually get a two wheel drive Ranger. Um, that is here in Canada only. US is a little bit different. You can't get a two wheel drive. Uh, but here in Canada, they're all four wheel drive models. So you get four high and four low. Now with the FX4 package, you would also get the uh, trail control system. You will also get a rear locking differential and a couple other buttons here as well with that package. But again, we don't have the FX4 package on this particular truck. Again, our 10 speed automatic transmission this is a select shift transmission. So you can cycle through the gears if you want to, if you're towing or something like that. We do still have a manual parking brake in the Ranger. It's actually pretty neat. We also have a nice Ranger sill plate here on the, uh, on the dash. Plenty and plenty of room in the, in the uh, glove box as well. And part of the 501A package, we do have the Bang & Olufsen sound system, which is uh, the center channel speaker up there. We also have tweeters here in the, uh, in the doors, which look really, really good. And stepping into the rear seat of the Ranger, again, this is a Super Crew model, so it's the full four door with the five foot bed. And again, with the Lariat model, we get full leather seating back here, which is certainly nice. And we also have a fold down center console with some cup holders in it. And your rear passengers also get a 110 volt outlet, as well as two additional USB. We also have some more storage up here. And we also can lift these seats up. So we have a pull tab under here, and you can lift the seat up and access more storage underneath, just in case you need it. And of course, lots of space back here as well. But unfortunately, as I mentioned, this is a sold unit. But if you're interested in getting a Ranger just like this, or interested in getting the next generation Ranger, feel free to give us a call or visit mcfee4.com. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next video.